Hey, three mile hurdle is next up then. And at the top, we've got Bill Kennan for Alex Cherry, Monksfield for David Hooley, Trench Green, Darren Thompson. Uh, first of the good ones, they've got a bucephalous idea for David Robertson. The joke was on me there at Hinton Stadium, Arcadium for Craig Allen. By Royal Decree, Joshua Sutherland, Mirza Anubis and Mission Patrol for Graham Clutterbuck. Fresno Millington and Orlando Template for Vinnie Gerard. Prince Sense for Alex Cherry. Queen's Look, David Hooley. Chalkhouse Green, Darren Thompson. Hackler Omnia for David Robertson. Great Balls of Fire for Derek Hinton. Such a creep for Craig Allen. Crystal Empire, Leon Van Rensburg has also got Hidden Persuader, Velvet Curtain and Webby Clarity, the Martin Leader and Chapter Blend for Ryan Costello. So 22 this time then, with the long trip and away they go. Three mile hurdle, should be a little bit slower on the pace than the last few races have been as they get to the first of the 13 and they're all safely over that one with Velvet Curtain and the Red Rum Silks was just about the leader but immediately challenged by Mirza Anubis. And then comes Great Balls of Fire in the pink and black with Orlando Template in the green in fourth. The grey rider on the far side there is Trench Green as they get over flight number two of the 13. With another 11 still to take. And Velvet Curtain just about winning that battle of the lead. Leads by about a neck to half a length to Mirza and Nubis in second. And Orlando Template is third and Great Balls of Fire is fourth. Bell Kennan has moved through into fifth in Trench Green. Prince Sense is after that one on the inside, but alongside that one, Monksville. That one needs to be a pretty decent sort of a hurdler with a name like that, doesn't it? Then comes the joke was on me. Webby Clarity, stable companion of the leader, is next. Then Chapter Blend and Stadium Arcadium after that with Mission Patrol and Byroll Decree. And then Queen's Look at the moment, the Leon Van Rensburg pair of the back two as they take flight three, which they all successfully negotiate and make their way towards flight number four. With the Velvet Curtain in the lead from Mirza and Nubis and Orlando Template. These three are a couple of lengths clear of the remainder and we're headed by Trench Green as they get over number four. Which again, they're all safely over, all hurdling well. The pace appears to be fairly sensible at this stage with Velvet Curtain setting it, leading it by about two lengths to Orlando Template in second. Mirza and Nubis on the outside, that one is third, and a gap of a length or so to Bell Kennan with Great Balls of Fire, Trench Green, the grey closest to us, tucked in behind them is Prince Sense, then a gap of a couple of lengths to Monksfield, and Stadium Arcadia on that one's inside, the joke was on me on its outside, then a line of three of them with Bucuffalous Idea, Chapter Blend and by Royal Decrees, they take flight number five, which they all get over nicely as well, and Fresno Mellington has now just about dropped to the back of the pack, but Velvet Curtain, continues to bowl along in front as they come to this flight that'll be the last next time round and over it they all go all safely over it again with the leading three still the same Velvet Curtain, Mercer and Eubis and Orlando Template passing the stands they go then past the winning post and swing out right handed for another circuit of the track with the whole field in shot and probably about 25 lengths between first and last, I suppose. Velvet Curtain is, is still the leader. From Mirza and Nubis in second. And then Orlando Template is third. Those three have been one, two, three pretty much all the way. Great balls of fire on the inside, and the pink jacket is just about fourth for Derek Hinton. Then comes Trench Green and Bell Cannon and Princess. The two Alex Cherry runners together. They'll be uh, handicapping this race when it's finished, of course. And, and another go later, then comes Stadium Arcadium, a couple of ideas after that one, then Monksfield in the purple jacket in mid-division, with behind that one by Royal Decree, in those newish colours that I don't recognise as they get over flight number seven. And down on its nose at the back was Crystal Empire, uh, one or two of the Leon Van Rensburg horses have been struggling today, which is a bit of a surprise. So I don't know what's amiss with them, but Mirza Anubis, Mirza Anubis, should I say, is just about taking it up as they get over flight number eight. With the Velvet Curtain on the inside now drop back to second, Orlando Template third, then comes Trench Green after that one, Stadium Arcadium is making significant looking progress as well, and Hidden Persuade is also creeping through the pack as they get over flight number nine, which once again they're all safely over, although Crystal Empire again a little bit slow towards the back of the pack. Velvet Curtain has now 
poked its head back in front again on the inside from Mercer and Nubis in second. Then Orlando Template is third. Trench Green is in fourth. Then Great Balls of Fire and Bell Cannon. New Cuffler's idea is still going well. Stowe Stadium, Arcadium. Prince Senses next. Monksfield is getting close and so is this grey by Royal Decree. That one's creeping into it as well. So two's Hidden Persuader. Then on the inside of that one, Hackler on Naya Chapter Blend. After that, Queen's Lock's going to try and come wide. But it's Mercer and Nubis and Velvet Curtain still disputing the lead as they get to flight 10. And over that one, they all go and they all skip over it nicely with a good jump at the back this time by Crystal Empire who's now beginning to try and make a bit of a forward move but it's Mirza and Nubis who's got back into the lead from Velvet Curtain and Trench Green Orlando Template Belkin and now being driven up to join that making the lead in five as they get over the third from home and now they're all beginning to bunch up top and Belkin has come through to take it up Belkin in the lead immediately pressed out by Monksfield then comes Trench Green and Mercer and Nubis with Catholic ideas trying to get into it some of the early leaders are beginning to fade away they swing now towards the home straight they've still got a couple of flights to take and it's Monksfield who's come through on the outside to take it up from Belkin and then comes Trench Green with Catholic ideas there, Velvet Kern's now beating a retreat. Then Princess Orlando Template Hidden Persuaders coming through. Tried to throw down a challenge as well, but down towards the second last. And over it goes Monksfield. Monksfield is over it. Clear by two lengths. Then Bell Cannon is running a big race in second. Then Trench Green Hidden Persuader is running unlocks a big danger. Then comes by Royalty Crew is also trying to get into it. So too is Stadium Arcadium by this Monksfield shot clear. At the final flight, Monksfield gets over it. He's three lengths clear from Hidden Persuader. is now a clear second. Surely Monksfield can't be caught if he had gone across. A hurdle and Monksfield, you're gonna to have to make sure he's good, and it looks like this one is. Trench Green is trying to close and he's getting closer. Monksfield needs the line. Monksfield's in the lead. Here comes Trench Green. Monksfield's hanging on. Trench Green is beginning to get up on the outside. Monksfield wants to post. Monksfield gets the post. Trench Green is second. Stadium Arcadium is third, then Orlando Template. And after that one was Bell Kenner and Bob Rody Crean all the way back again to the poor old Derek Hinton pair. I think he may have been last in every race so far. Derek Hinton, he will see the funny side of that. I'm sure he'll be back with some winners by the time the season starts. It's good to see Derek back, but it's good to see a good old name like Monksfield. What we need now is somebody to call one C Pigeon and we'll have a ding-dong battle at a race at Newcastle later in the season. So Monksfield takes it for David Hooley with the card goes back down again. I'm pretty sure Trench Green was the one that came through to his second. It was indeed Trench Green for Darren Thompson second. Stadium Arcadian for Craig Allen third. Hidden Persuader Leon Van Rensburg fourth. And Orlando Template for Vinnie Gerrard fifth.